Wheel of Fortune. With John Leslie and Jenny Powell. They tell me that comedy is tragedy plus time. In which case, this game show has contestants that have prizes galore and we've plenty of froth and they're all first class. And that's no joke. Steve, what's an offer? Top of the range prizes, John, and of course, a big, big jackpot of £2,000. One spin of the wheel. To raise a smile for Steve as a play today. Pauline Johnson from Concert enjoys making lace, hoping she can string the wheel along. Paul Johnson from Edinburgh, he supports the same group party with you, John, to be interesting. And Nelly Laurie lives in Wembley. She's a member of Cabin Crew and Airline, hoping her landings avoid the bankruptcies. Nelly, Paul, Pauline, have yourself a wonderful time on the Wheel of Fortune. So here comes the first puzzle. It has four words and they make up Miss Powell. A place. You sure? Yep. Marvellous. There's also, I can tell you, a cashbook prize in the air as well, worth £100. Excited? Yes. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you're shaking. <laughs> Marvellous. OK, you ready to play? Yes. Marvellous. Let's find out who'll spin first again, that all-important control of the wheel. Good luck, one and all. Which Oscar-winning actor provided the voice for Woody, the cowboy, in the Toy Story films? Paul. Tom Hanks. Yes! <laughs> you're on the wheel. Well done. And now, of course, Toy Story 2. Two. OK, you have 400 points. T for Tommy. Two. 400. Doubled up. 800 points. First of 400 points. S for sugar. Yes, one. Some out the way. Nelly, hi. Four fifty, Nelly. And for November? A year. Three. <laughs> One fifty. H for hotel? Yes, two. Three hundred. Five hundred. Alpha Lima. One. Two hundred. R for Romeo. Pauline, welcome. Right, you're off and running, Pauline. Two hundred points. D for Donald. Yes, one. Two hundred points. Alpha Romeo. Paul. Seven hundred. C for Charlie. Two. Fourteen hundred points. Can you solve it? <laughs> oh, timing is what it's all about. It's hundred pounds if you can solve it right now. Go. The London Stock Exchange. Well done, sir. It was a good yeah. job. I thought, uh, you see, it really annoys me because people want to solve it without going for the cash pot, if they, especially if they know what it is, but all timed well there. Thank you, Jenny. Yes, the London Stock Exchange. <laughs> and I have the plans for you because you got it Thank on you. the cash pot. See, well done. Now, we've met before, haven't we? We, we, have we must yes. tell everybody at home. Yes. And was it a pleasurable occasion for you? Uh, it was for me. Uh -huh. um, I won a competition to take penalty kicks against a celebrity goalkeeper. Um, but he couldn't turn up, so they got you. Oh, bum bum, <laughs> yeah. And um, I scored two out of three and then missed the next two. Right. But you forgot the big... Where was it and who was it for and, you know, what it was, was the occasion? East, it was at Easter Road, uh -huh. half-time during Hibs Rangers in front of 15,000 people. Fantastic. So it was a great day. A good moment for you. Excellent. I remember, I, I remember it really well because Hibs, funnily enough, 
on that occasion were beating Rangers 2-1, right. weren't we? And then we went to get changed in the uh, tunnel and then Hibs scored another goal, which That's we right. missed. And then we came out, did the penalties, went back into the tunnel, got That's changed right. again and Hibs scored again. <laughs> That was 3-1, wasn't it? That's right. And then we came out and we sat in the stand and then Rangers <laughs> scored three goals and they got beat. <laughs> it was shocking, wasn't it? We've seen all the Rangers goals. But a pleasurable day for you. It was. And one to remember, just like today. Indeed. Well, get another one past me because here's another prize for you. Steve. Yes, welcome to Great Sporting Moments from John Leslie's Youth. And today we're offering this fabulous TV and video combined. You could have video of that football match and see the score over and over again. But Paul, you can choose anything on our stage of prizes. OK, Paul, not many people get two goals past me, so you can have a prize. Go and take one, take one from me. I'll have the fridge freezer, please. All yours, mate. Well done. Yeah. So the points have been banked for that round. It's uh, time for puzzle two, and the well runs dry if you hit the extra bankrupt on the wheel, but you're bubbling over. If you find the extra 1,000, to put down there too. And not only that, if you land on this. Yes, my all-new mystery prize token, which I'll place here on the 400 points mark. That prize is yours when you go on to solve the puzzle, which, of course, you're bound to do, because it has five words and makes up... A phrase. Which famous London landmark was added to the opening credits of EastEnders in 1999? Paul. The Millennium Dome? Yes. Well done. <laughs> Pretty in pink. 150. T for Tommy. Four. <laughs> 600. Four fifty. R for Romeo. One. Seven hundred. S for Susie. <laughs> you like it? One. Four hundred. M, M for Miller. Oh, first time that's happened, Nelly. <laughs> 250, Nelly. C for Charlie. One. <laughs> 200. N for November. Three. 600 for you, Nelly. It's a phrase you're looking for. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. You may, of course you may. Can I have an E? You can have four E's. I'll charge you 250 for the lot. Do you care to speculate or speak? <laughs> Off and running. 500. Uh, G for golf. G. Yeah. One. You can talk to me in that language all day. Keep going. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, G for golf. <laughs> it's a big one. 1,000 points a letter, Nelly. H for hotel. Yes. Three. 3,000. Every... Can oh, I solve it? Of course you can. Everything but the kitchen sink. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, well. got, yeah yes, well done. <laughs> yes, wrong. Well, you managed it perfectly. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny. Everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> now, of course, from France. Yes. But living here now? Yes, I live in Wembley. Wembley. Mm -hmm. All right, but by the stadium? Not far. Not, not far, far, right, yeah. OK. Walking so distance. How long have you been here? About 14 years. All right. That's yeah. what you're doing now? You... I'm a nurse stewardess. Right. What was your first job when you came over here? I was an au pair. Uh-huh. <laughs> not very good. Not very good? What else did <laughs> no. you do? Uh, I worked for McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. Yes. That must have been fun. Any yeah, interesting customers? Good days. Oh, you had loads of interesting customers. Funny request. Like? Quite a few. Well, you had somebody who came and said, um, I'd like a vegetarian burger. And I thought, well, we don't do veg vegetarian burgers. At the time, we they didn't oh, anyway. It was before then. It right, was before. Okay. Yeah. And I thought, I said, well, we don't do a vegetarian burger. And he said, well, of course you do. Just take the meat out. Ah, <laughs> just put everything else in. Yeah. Well, listen, we'll leave nothing out when it comes <laughs> to our prizes. So you sit back and wonder, Steve, what's on offer? 
Well, as it happens, John, we happen to have something here that Nelly might like, because I happen to know that Nelly likes computer games. And what do we have? A fabulous selection. But of course, Nelly, you can choose anything, from a dishwasher to a mountain bike to a toaster and kettle. Just pick something. If I was to ask you what you would like in French, how would I say it? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez choisir? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez voir? Choisir. Choisir. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I'd like a dishwasher, please. After all that, you need a dishwasher. Well done. <laughs> And so we've hit the halfway mark. Let's break open that bank and find out who's picked up what points wise in reverse order. We've got Pauline. 200 points. Then we've got Paul. 3,150 points. Bring the lead so far with wow. 6,250. It's Nelly. Well played. <laughs> so 200 down then. We'll be back in a couple of minutes playing for not one but 2,000 pounds. So whatever you do, Paul, it's over to you. Don't go away. Oh, yes, welcome back. Thundering on now with another 1,000 points on the wheel. <laughs> I've doubled all the points. And we're moving straight on to the next round because whoever solves it will have the chance to win an extra £100 by guessing the special puzzler which we think is rather cunningly connected to the game you've just won. <laughs> Here's the puzzle. It has four words and they make up Miss Pretty in Pink. A classic film. Gouda is a cheese from which country? Paul. Holland. Yes. The Netherlands, Holland, whatever you want to call them. And rather nice it is two. 700 doubled. T for Tommy. Two. 1,300 points. Mm -hmm. Nine hundred. S for sugar. One. Okay, Nelly, 1,600 points. D for Delta. Pauline? You've just been practising, haven't you? Now it's your chance. 1,600 points, Pauline. H for Hotel. One. <laughs> 1,800. L for Lima. One. Classic film, Pauline, 800 points. W for whiskey. Paul. Oh. 1,500. M for mother. One. Can you solve it? Go. Some like it hot. As you do. Well done for getting that one. A little let us to go. Thank you, Jenny. Yes, some like it hot. <laughs> OK, we have £100 cash here, OK. I know you want to get your hands on it, cos you've already got... No, uh, this'll, this'll be £200 for the day, not bad. And there's two words, and it's basically food and drink, Paul. <laughs> so it's food and drink relating to some like it hot. And it's worth £100 to you. You have five seconds. Good luck. I must take your first answer. And your time starts now. Lamb Madras. <laughs> well, there you go. There well, you go. Okay. It's in the next, so to speak. £100. Thank you, Jenny. Some like it hot. Lamb Madras. <laughs> I know you get mad quite soon, but you had a bit of a scare earlier before because you had a blind date that lasted 30 seconds. Is this right? No, that wasn't 35 right. seconds. Oh, no, um, I took uh, Kirsty out as a surprise to, uh, to see an event that she didn't know what it was, and it was a Prince Nazim fight, and it lasted 35 seconds. There you fight. go. You see, I was just giving it. <laughs> there. Yes, well, he's a not knockout. Here's a prize, Steve. Absolutely, but we can cool things down, especially if that curry's too hot, with an excellent selection of wines from around the world. As demonstrated here by Tony, who's not allowed to open them, but you are, should you take the prize. But, of course, you can choose anything on stage, Paul. <laughs>
Well, and the high five system. The high five system, you sure? Yeah. Okay, oh yes, good enough. Well, we're still playing for double points, so let's have a look at the next puzzle. It has four words and they make up Jennifer. Star TV show John Nothing. John what? <laughs> careful. Be careful. What's the capital of Austria? Paul. Vienna. Indeed, yes. Renowned for its music and architecture. Not to mention its fine Mozart balls, lovely chocolates. 800 points. T for Tommy. Two. 1600 for you. Eight hundred. Arthur Romeo. Three. Two thousand four hundred. Three hundred. S for sugar. Three. Nine hundred four. It's the big one. Two thousand points, but you need a letter. N for November. It's there. Four thousand. Well done. A thousand. L for Lima. One. Mm. There's a turn, but keep the points, Nelly. Eight hundred, Nelly. G for Juliette. Yes, one. Six hundred. H for hotel. Yes, one. A thousand. A D for Delta. Two. Thousand points. Five hundred, Nelly. Um, uh, C for Charlie. No C, it's Pauline. Right, Pauline, this is your chance. Five hundred points. M for Mike. Yes. Three. Fifteen hundred points. Ah, that's how it means there are no more consonants. So, Pauline, you haven't won a round so far. Is this going to be it? Go! John Nettles bid some emerges. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got there. Well done, well done. Thank you, Jenny. John Nettles Midsummer Murders. Because <laughs> you're a lucky one when it comes to competitions, aren't you? A little bit. A little bit. What, what have you won in the past? Just CDs, I'll have one Robbie Williams tickets to see him at Newcastle Arena. All oh, right. Uh -huh. yeah. And how was Robbie? He was very high, but he was good. Very <laughs> high? What, just jumping about, yeah, being a bit was, of a... he was really good. All over the place. Good entertainer, most okay. of it. Well, he likes to entertain people, doesn't he? He does. And apart from winning competitions and CDs, um, you're a cross-stitcher. I am. Now, explain to me what a cross-stitcher is. Well, you make stitches that form crosses in different colours and it makes a picture. Right, so it's making a, forming a picture on yeah, the end of it. Yeah. Right, do you sell it or is it just no, a kind no, of hobby? No, no, I just do it as a hobby. Uh, is it, was it a good kind of, you know, gets all the stress and strains of the day yeah, out? Yeah, it does. Are you going to need something to do it again after this? Yes. <laughs> you've been all right, you've been marvellous today. Well, from Robbie Williams and take that, you can take one of our prizes away, OK? Steve, what's an offer? Well, Pauline, they do say that travel broadens the mind and what better way to travel than with this fabulous set of luggage. Three pieces in all and very durable, very light, I'm told. But, of course, the choice is yours. Just select any prize at all. The towels, you sure? Yes. Positive? Yes. Okay. They're all yours. Well done. Thank Well, all that means the time of reckoning has arrived. Let's call up that bank and find out who is the highest scorer. Yes, the contestant out of the three who will try the solo round against the clock and hopefully win today's top prize of no less than £2,000. From left to right, then. Pauline, 5,100. Paul, 14,550. And Nelly, 9,650. That means, Paul, you're flying solo today.
Well done, sir. Unfortunately, that means we've got to say goodbye to our girls. But have you had a good time? Had a wonderful time. Yes, no? Yeah, good. It's been lovely and your accent's been enchanting. <laughs> and you're both uh, going away with something, which is great. You've all won a prize today. Uh, uh, pulling for you, you got the towels at the end there. Well done. And uh, for you, Nelly, the dishwasher. And, of course, you both will be receiving, with my compliments, please accept the fabulous, sought-after Wheel of Fortune souvenir watch. <laughs> OK, Paul, there's a lot more than 15,000 people out there. Are you ready for this? I think so. Let's go. <laughs> OK, well played on the wheel. It's uh, now a case of though, going for the big prize. I'm going to get out of the way so you've got a clean shot at goal. <laughs> <laughs> but you have uh, basically this puzzle to solve, and it's worth £2,000 for you. It has two words, and they make up a sporting hero. So that's who you're looking for. And to try and help you find that sporting hero, I want six letters from you. Five consonants and one vowel. So clearly and concisely, give me your consonants first. S for seven, N for nil, T for Tommy, R for Romeo, M for Mike. And your vowel. E for echo. OK. Well, those letters are winnings, winning ones. Let's have a look. And we got three right at the end. Could have maybe done a bit better with the letters, but you're going to have to go some. Give me as many alternatives as you can in that time. You have 15 seconds, so they're all yours. Just keep going. Good luck. Stand by. Your time starts now. John. Yep. Um, John. John. Uh, in, in, ins, ins, on, ins, John Collins. No. John, John, ins. Almost. Oh. It's not Collins, who's a Scottish footballer, but it is a Scottish person. Oh, John Higgins. Higgins. And you're going ins, you're going to ins, ins, ins and you're going ins, just a bit bigger than ins. Yeah, Close. Right. You give oh. a very good effort, though, you give it a very good shot. So close, but yet so far, right? You oh, give mate. it a very good effort and just... Uh, one more letter might have done it for you, but... Have you enjoyed your day? I've had a great day, thanks very much. That's the main thing. It's been a pleasure having a fellow hip supporter on, what can I say? And you're not going to be empty-handed. You, you did get the £100 cash spot, the fridge freezer, the £100 connection and the hi-fi. So at least that's your season ticket taken care thanks of for next much. year. Well done. You just talk about <laughs> football all the time, well, What else don't do the guys you? talk about? Yeah, but I know, snooker. Snooker? Yeah. Really, all right. Why do snooker players love theme parks so much? All right, why? Because they're always queuing up. <laughs> <sighs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next time when we'll be potting some more great prizes. Until then, from the team on the wheel, see ya. Bye for now.